can't tell if they're gonna look cute or if I'm gonna look like a child. So excited to show you. I do have lip balm all around my face. Really upset, I wasn't crying about it, but did you go to see that? You will not get a nicer tasting cherry tomato. <laughs> Hello guys, back where I started my last vlog, <laughs> just minus the little ring light. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Monday today and it is now, what time is it? Quarter past six, but I wanted to start a vlog. That's, that's it, I wanted to start a vlog, here we are. I've just eaten an Alpro Greek style strawberry and raspberry yogurt. I am always really hesitant with like non-dairy yogurt but really nice really thick creamy couldn't even tell that it wasn't dairy me and my mum just went to Sainsbury's so I picked that up and I've also got a passion fruit one so I'm excited about that today has been not the most exciting I uploaded some more clothes to my clothes Instagram page which is just good as new underscore Adina I think I haven't done it in a while and I sort of forgot to tell you guys that I collected the money that I made from selling the clothes a couple of months ago saved that all in a, like in a separate account I mean it wasn't loads but saved put it all in a separate account and then made a good donation to meningitis research foundation so if you did buy anything if you do follow me on that account um thank you so so much it's such a special charity to me so it was great I was able to make a donation thank you so much for that it's one of those jobs I don't know if you guys have like a depop account or something but it's such like a it honestly has been on my to-do list to upload more clothes for weeks and it's something like oh, I'll do it later I'll do it later but I actually did it today also stuck on some nails over the weekend these are just the kiss I'm just flew out at me kiss acrylic nude nails they're really they're a really nice length and I was taking some photos for a brand I showed you in the last vlog the rings and I was like if I'm taking a ring photo they don't want just my little stubby nails so I was like right I'll I'll put these on but yeah i watched the vlog want to keep you guys entertained today's the day boris makes another announcement we have already found out a few bits of the news obviously this will kind of be old news by the time this vlog goes up and looks like june 21st hot girl summer commences apparently the clubs are open apparently the theaters are opening so for all of you mt kids like me um i say it like that i just i'm not putting too much store by it we all know i mean it's nearly march do you know what i mean nearly a whole year later when all this shit happened anyway so i'm not putting any store by it it just seems like a bit more of like a light i guess but um we, we'll go with it until we're told otherwise i guess um but at least we know we've got a good few months to get. me and elliot were texting he was like i think a few home workouts are being done for the body or the i was like me too sis me too okay it's not much later at all but i just thought you know um you know, in my last vlog, I showed you those new red leggings that I bought, the gym leggings. I haven't had a chance to wear the red leggings yet, I just haven't worn them. But I said to you guys that I bought a black set. Now, I returned the top because the top was too big, so I'm waiting on an exchange for the top. But I did one, um, I did a jazz class on Friday night. It wasn't even that, it was quite like show girly, I didn't have any kicks in really, like it was, quite quite calm i don't know what the right word is and then afterwards i sat down to take as i had heels on took my heels off like seam had ripped like all the way down the inside of my leg and there were like loads of holes and i was so shocked because the leggings are so thick and they're so nice i was really upset i haven't <laughs> really upset i wasn't crying about it but i haven't emailed the company yet because I'm still waiting on the exchange for the top and my nan's like you need to email it's so bad I will I'm just annoyed like I thought I cracked the code there with like a, a really good quality gym set that was like 34 pounds which still isn't I think it's 31.99 still not cheap but like for a gym set good um and yeah holes I'm, an, I'm so annoyed about it to be honest anyway i might pop the red ones on now see how they go i'm gonna do a workout now because i didn't do one this morning don't know what i'm gonna do i have been following shreddy but i've been doing it for like six seven weeks now so 
there's only like it's just the same setup every time i like put my phone up i'm in my dining room i did buy a new mat though from home bargains and also some yoga blocks i don't do yoga but for when i stretch and i can i haven't really stretched like over split much so i can use the block the blocks to stretch that so i'm gonna do a workout now um i might try and do skipping i'll probably do a shreddy to be honest but um we'll see i've got them on let's see how long i can go skipping i do highly recommend getting a skipping rope mine was just from amazon i think I really just bought Sims. It was on sale for 99. Man, what a weird time of the time. Need to keep busy. Trying to eat the hours away. Who knew that I like Milky Way? I wake up, I'm ready to go. Yeah, feeling so good in control. Yeah, think of the place I'm going to be. So I give up and watch the. <laughs> Hello guys, it's now the next day. Um, I'm in the same tracksuit. I didn't have it on for very long yesterday, so I wasn't necessary, was it? But yeah, it's back on today. No judgment around here. Also, my skin. I think it's because I'm about to come on my period, but uh, it's not. you can't really see very well. It's kind of breaking out a little bit, but I've had a really productive morning. It is 20 past one. I woke up probably the earliest I have in a while. I woke up at 20 to eight. I'm just trying to ease myself into waking up earlier just because I feel like I can get more done. I can be more productive. So this morning I journaled a little bit. I say journaled. I just, I wrote a gratitude list. I did some meditation i went on a walk i just walked there's like a around like the houses there's like a nice route that i do um when i want to get my steps in so i did that i did a workout um i had a smoothie i to be fair it sounds it sounds great but like you know when you hear someone say all of these things or if i did like a nice little montage it would look so nice but the reality of it is like you wake up and think oh yeah like i'm so excited to do all of those things but like i know that it will benefit me and i'll feel so good like now i feel great that i've done all of that it's now lunchtime i'm really hungry also someone commented on my last video how much my hair has grown it has hasn't it um i'm really happy it was obviously like this time last year it was like here um which is crazy and yes i am trying to grow it i think i was thinking maybe like nearer the summer i might get some like caramel put through it and um, i just wanted to show you and i wanted to make with you guys um a sandwich that i've been making the past couple of lunch times and i think i've said before i'm not a massive fan of lunch um it's my least favorite meal of the day and i just never really know what to have but i made this sandwich and i'm loving it just a little uh warning i'm going to talk about calories for a sec um obviously it's tuesday today and yesterday i started counting my calories calories again but not in like a bad way at all just i just want to um be in like a slight deficit over the next couple of weeks it's a bit of a faff isn't it tracking them but it was absolutely it was fine and i'm doing it again today but i'm going to show you this sandwich i think i saw it on tiktok like a joe and the juice sort of um like replica we keep our like thins in the freezer i'm just gonna pop that into defrost the thing is the thins are nice but they're not very filling so i make the filling really filling <laughs> also apologies if you don't like tuna this is not going to be the one for you but i just take a whole can of tuna i end up actually eating the whole can because i can just eat the leftovers and it's really good it's a really good source of protein i just make a little tuna mayo mix with some red onion tuna mix is made and i've cut up, cut up some tomatoes i'm just gonna pop the thin in the toaster to like crisp it up a little bit i'm sure i've said this before 
I will say it again, these taste the difference on the vine tomatoes. I'm pretty sure you can get them like, like this in any supermarket, but the ones that are on the vine, especially the Sainsbury's ones, oh my gosh, you will not get a nicer tasting cherry tomato. <laughs> then the main sort of ingredient is pesto. As a family, we don't really have pesto a lot. I think, I don't know if my dad likes it. I like it, um, but we had some in the cupboard. Here it is. It is not groundbreaking at all. It just tastes so good. Um, so if you make it, let me know. Mm -mm -mm. I have to be careful. I don't want to show anyone's address, but I've just been, I don't mind my cat. <laughs> I've just been sorting out the parcels, um, like the pieces that have been sold from my clothes page and also down here, but you can see their addresses down here. But a really exciting delivery just arrived. I have a boohoo haul coming soon and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna have a look at the pieces now. Oh, and I'm so excited to show you. Woo, clothing hauls are back, baby. I don't wanna give you a sneak peek of anything. Um, I'm not naked. I've got a top on. I live in my Bridgerton fantasies, but you will see that. Um, I ordered four pairs of jeans, guys, for four different like outfits. And they all don't fit. <laughs> I haven't ordered from Boohoo in a while and I say like I never I wasn't a hundred percent sure what size and jeans to get. I never thing is with jeans, I've never been like one size, I've always been choppy and changey, but um it's not the I don't care about like not fitting in them. It's the fact that like it's so annoying to them, I've gotta like exchange them because obviously I want to just make this video as good as possible for them. Doing a class at six. I'm doing my friend Gabby's class, which I'll tell you about because she's actually running free classes at the moment, which is amazing, but people are donating donating to a charity. So I'll tell you guys about that in a sec, but I'm just gonna sort out these clothes. My mum's about to try and cut his hair. We shaved the sides and the back on the weekend but it's very long like on the it. top so mum bought some hair where are they some um, actual hairdressing scissors so she's gonna give it a go and <laughs> trim in the top because obviously they're going back to school next is it next week you're going back to school week after. Week after. and then i've just got this is like leftover stuff and stuff that i don't know if i've put on to my clothes instagram yet so i'm just gonna go through it all and see what i have or haven't put on oh my gosh guys i'm so sorry today's probably been the, the most boring day i could have chosen to vlog um in terms of like stuff to film um it's been very productive though but it's just not been like a interesting day but i've decided i'm gonna edit the first part of this vlog tonight then i'm gonna vlog my day tomorrow because I've, i'm actually doing some interesting things tomorrow and i'm gonna go out and shoot some content and you guys can see that and stuff so no worries and then i'm gonna try and get this up tomorrow night but yeah i've actually had a really productive day i did gabby's class let me tell you her instagram so her instagram is it's gabby w love um and she is currently doing free classes to raise money I think it's for Mind, yeah, um, the Mind charity, and they're great. She does like tech. I did tech jazz tonight. It's like a few different ones. She's starting up a tap as well. She did does tech jazz on a Tuesday, like MT jazz on a Thursday. Definitely check them out. Definitely check her out. She's great. Um, we've been friends for years now. I've got over the a thousand calories for the, like burning off my goal a day is 550 but i got it to 1022 trust me it's not like that every day but i'm very pleased with myself honestly it's really the only thing i use my apple watch for is to track fitness and i absolutely love it i feel like it's my apple watch has been the thing that has made me want to work out in this lockdown because in lockdown number two i completely fell off it and I guess with this, when you can see, I know it's not completely accurate, but when you can sort of see something like that, it kind of like motivates you to want to achieve it. And also me and Macaulay have each other on here. So we sort of can see each other 
what each other's done in the day which i actually really like many of you guys have bought stuff off my clothes instagram so thank you so much i'm gonna do a big trip to the post office as well tomorrow we're gonna watch married at first sight who's watching married at first sight australia please say yes if you say no you know what to do trying a can i turn the, are you watching this mum? sorry sorry you are watching it aren't you me and mum went to Sainsbury's yesterday i got some of the halo top peanut butter scroll like on a stick i haven't had these before when they came out and these were on offer they're so expensive but i'm gonna give it a try now also i forgot to nas i forgot to tell you guys that my dog was really really poorly um she's barking away at my mum now she's better um yeah it was really scary wasn't it mum she's old she she's an old girl and we thought we did think that was it to be honest um her back leg stopped working it just yeah it wasn't a good time but now she's back on her feet running around or oh, she's not running around but um oh. but yeah we were really worried um but she seems to be okay now so fingers crossed <coughs> to be fair just i've had the tub of it before so i don't know what it tastes like Mm. but it's got nice peanut butter swells in it and i haven't actually had any peanut butter today which is a bit of a rarity for me Hello guys, it's now the next day. I'm just waiting for Ash and I had to bring my baked oats in the car because I didn't have enough time to eat them, so I'm eating them now. Mm. <laughs> Walkie's done, we had such a um, oh, I need to end it on my watch. Now going to head to the place where I get a lot of my content and take you guys, oh Ash is about to drive past me. Um, head to the place where I take most of my content and show you guys sort of what I do. I'm really lucky because a lot of the time I do go with my mum and my mum takes a lot of my content for me but now my brothers are back on online school because it was half term last week. Um, she's only free in the afternoons and have a singing lesson and stuff this afternoon so i'm gonna go do it myself today i bought two outfits whether i'll do both of them i don't know or maybe just one i'm not sure Ooh, i've got into the first outfit um i'm now just going to do my hair um i basically so there's a car park that i pretty much always come to um isn't it funny how car parks are like the new place well it's not really new anymore the place for instagram photos i'm so stupid i packed my makeup but no brushes it's fine we've got a sponge so usually when me and my mom come we literally just there's no one on this level ever um which is really nice it makes it really easy to it makes it really easy to take content because obviously there's no one around i could do low bubble braids haven't done that before I always find for taking photos i like having my contours and like blush and that slightly heavier than usual just because it tends to sort of fade a bit in photos also in my like most recent my true or false the video before this the true or false assumptions video um if you've watched it i actually talk about a lot of things in that video so if you haven't seen it already um i'll leave it linked down below i realized as i was editing it because basically i was gonna like put a little thing in the video being like oh, i'm really sorry that everything looks very saturated i had to edit i had to edit it and as far as my film editing skills go it's very very limited um but i had to edit it because the colors looked so bland i had i think i had my light on too bright and it just completely washed me out so the sort of the only thing i could really do was make it look more saturated um and it meant that everything looked very like orange my foundation looked very dark and very orange um it didn't actually look like that but i said like, there's no point me drawing attention to it um it's fine i think one of my worst hair decisions was probably getting curtain bangs i'm not gonna lie to you guys 
I just me and my curtain bangs they're now actually really long so I should probably try and style them again this length I think actually they've got very long maybe I can try style them again this length but um yeah we I just don't have the right hair for it really my hair's very straight and very flat and I think for curtain bangs you have to have a bit of like volume to make them sit nice or actually be able to sew her <laughs> so yeah it wasn't one of my better decisions but i think we have to try these things can't tell if they're gonna look cute or if i'm gonna look like a child because we wear like my hair like this going to school <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking cute. Okay, I'm going to do the other one because this clip is going to be so long to me to edit. Um, I'm going to do the other one and I'll be back. Both braids are done. Um, I've got the sunnies as well, which I think I'm going to wear. Are you wonky? Why do suddenly got mega windy well it was windy on our walk my tripod fully just fucked over with my phone in it okay guys so it's actually too windy for me to do it on my own because my tripod isn't very sturdy and it keeps it keeps blowing it over so my mum has super kindly just come to take it for me um it's really not very far from our house but it's very kind of her to do so so she's just pulled up next to me and she's gonna take my photos some days you just some days it's just not a go <laughs> but it's fine she's here to save the day as per usual i'm home i'm currently in a tracksuit with a fleece on my room is such a mess and you can literally see it all behind me. Just got a fleece on over the top because it was cold. Um, I only shot one outfit just because the weather is supposed to be... Oh, it's actually supposed to be sunny pretty much for the next whole week. Which is so much better to take photos. And part of me wishes I waited. But it's fine. Um, So I do have a lip balm all around my face. I thought I'd quickly show you some of the apps I use to edit my photos and maybe that would help you. So um, I think in terms of like feed wise, I plan my feed on an app called Preview. It looks like that. Um, I think there are a few different apps. And then what I have recently just started doing, I just downloaded an app called Retouch. So let me just get a photo from today. Okay, so here's the photo. Uh, there we go um and then what retouch does is super cool so in on some photos when you go if you're out or even in your house there are little things in the background or whatever that just aren't aren't it so you can go on the bit where it says quick repair and i don't know how i'm going to show you this if you see that like white mark if i go like this and it just gets rid of it same thing like i had a little bit of fluff on my trousers and i can do the same thing there and it just gets rid of it which is really cool it also has another um tool called object removal where you can actually remove big things in the background which is cool so that's retouch and then i go on to facetune and if anything so if i've got like some creases in my outfit or anything needs smoothing out um you can add like sometimes i detail like my eyes a little bit or um certain features just to say my highlight looks good i might just detail it a tiny bit just to make it a bit more like popping popping um oh i could do the gems i haven't done it should we see if it makes a difference not really i don't think 
um so yeah so then i do that i don't really do too much in facetune and then um oh for these photos this sounds like i do a lot but this might just be helpful for this photo i went into lightroom i don't do this that often a lot of instagrammers just use lightroom and like that's it um in lightroom you can change like the exposure the white balance you can change like the colors around in lightroom and because it's quite a gloomy day i just brightened up the photo thank you that's given me some addresses for people that have bought things yeah and that changes like the colors in your photo and then final step for me i go on to vsco cam import my photo so in here and i have the same preset pretty much every time so i use the filter dog1 dog one um and but i just have it on the lowest well, not the lowest but i have it on low so i just have it on up like plus one of that filter so it's very subtle and then i do sharpen about five saturation one and then i add maybe like one of grain so i keep things pretty neutral pretty like the original photo but just a tiny bit enhanced and then I will just put it... This might be a sneak preview because if you watch this vlog on Wednesday, I'm going to upload this picture on Thursday, I think. Um, so if you can see, here's my feed in preview. I'm going to upload this photo, this necklace photo today. And then the juicy one that I took, I'm going to upload that tomorrow. And hopefully in the next few days with it being brighter i'll be able to get some more content in where this car park is there's like a boots a sainsbury so i went in and picked up some bits and i saw that they have um this is so random but they have a lift as you enter and i just took a picture there to see what it could be like for photos so i might try and get some photos there as well um yeah i don't know if that was interesting at all so today i have just got it's now two o'clock i've got a singing lesson at three but there's a guy here fixing our boiler and i hope he goes because i'd be so embarrassed i'm gonna package up some more parcels for you guys um and then probably do if i have time trip to the post office uh come back do my singing lesson and then i'm gonna get this vlog up for you guys for today so pretty real time here this uh outfit is also questionable but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you <laughs> i'm gonna start doing this every video if you've made it to the end please leave me some red rose emojis however many you want in the comments i love seeing that it just it's really pleasing for me so yeah so much love thank you for watching please subscribe if you're not already be sure to enter my giveaway with misguided over on my instagram give this video a thumbs up lots of love and i'll see you in my next video bye